All right, so the first thing we're going to do is cut the little zip tie with my very dull knife. Remove the protective paper. Take it out of the box. All right, so I've got it out of the box and the legs just swivel open and lock with these pins apparently automatically. There they are. Remove the other protective paper. Oh no, that's the brittle spot. So let's see. Okay. I know these legs must extend. Okay, this piece goes on This goes on the end here where these screws are. Hopefully it just slides right on and it does. Okay, and then you would extend the length by unscrewing the legs and pulling them all the way out until they fall on the ground. There's holes here, but I don't think you want to go all the way down, so I don't know where. I think you pull it towards you. Yeah. You just pull it down to a spot you're kind of comfortable with yeah. and tighten these legs up. And then you're going to have to mess with that, obviously, because that is not a scientific method. Make sure you get all the little card uh, styrofoam pieces out of it. Other than figuring out exactly where the legs need to be, this is a very easy installation. Okay, still see it all? You can pull that back if you need to. At this point, use my Blackstone 22 inch. There's holes down here in a stand that hopefully these legs right into like that look at that okay and then of course you have to get it level of course if you're on a unlevel porch that will affect it and it doesn't appear that there's any way to tighten this anymore it's not going to fall off but nothing weighs a ton yeah that goes on there it needs to be clean i know i'm just putting it on say it out And the grill top which needs to be cleaned all right and you could probably put some kind of a shim under it to finish tightening it but that is it connect your gas under there your nice side spot here to put your hamburger plate or whatever and if your wife's there and looking at the dirty top she's saying it really needs to be cleaned and so Thank you.